You're listening to PetLifeRadio.com. Working Like Dogs is brought to you by Dog.com. For everything and anything dog, shop Dog.com today for all the top brands. Greenies, Frontline, Kong, Nylabone, Royal Canin, and more. Shop at Dog.com and use the promo code SADWORK, S-A-D-W-O-R-K, and get $15 off your order of $75 or more. Hello and welcome to Working Like Dogs on Pet Life Radio. Thank you for joining us today. We're your hosts. My name is Marcy Davis and my co-host is my trusty service dog, Whistle. And Whistle and I are so excited to have three guests with us today. We have Carol and Darcy Weisner and Brian McGill from Victory Ranch in Mora, New Mexico. And they're going to talk with us today about their beautiful ranch and all the amazing creatures that live there with them, including alpacas, llamas, and their amazing working dogs, their great Pyrenees. So come right back after these quick messages from our sponsors as we begin our visit with Darcy, Carol, and Brian. We'll be right back right after these messages. Stay tuned. There's a movement afoot. ShoeBuy.com. Join the millions of people who shop ShoeBuy.com's over 400 brands and 500,000 products. Order now and get free shipping and free return shipping. ShoeBuy.com, the world's greatest shoe store. Walk your dog in style and comfort. Enter the code WORKING, W-O-R-K-I-N-G, at checkout and get a 10% discount plus free shipping at ShoeBuy.com. Love your pets but wish their medications were a lot less expensive? They are at 1-800-PET-MEDS. You'll not only save on flea and heartworm medications, but on prescriptions for arthritis, incontinence, thyroid, and more. And you get fast service, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Plus, our licensed pharmacists ensure accuracy, monitor drug interaction, and more. See why over 5 million people have trusted their pet's health to 1-800-PET-MEDS, America's largest pet pharmacy. Call now or order online. Go to PetMeds.com forward slash work, W-O-R-K, to get 10% off any order and free shipping on orders of $39 or more at PetMeds.com. Celebrate your special occasion and give her this classic semi-eternity band created with one carat brilliant diamonds channel set in 14 carat white gold. Exclusively yours from ice.com. Free shipping over $150, free returns and 30 day money back guarantee. Go to ice.com and use promo code ACTFP and get 20% off your purchase or use promo code code ADTFP and get 20% off at diamond.com, ice.com or diamond.com. Get 20% off from Pet Life Radio. This year, Americans are expected to spend a jaw-dropping 36 billion on their pets, from lighted leashes to high-end spa products. The discriminating pet owner can find just about anything to pamper his or her pet. Hi, this is Michelle Fern. Join me every week for Best Bets for Pets, where we'll talk about the latest pet products and talk to the companies that make them. Best Bets for Pets, every week, only on PetLifeRadio.com. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome back to Working Like Dogs on Pet Life Radio. Whistle and I would like to welcome our guests, Carol, Darcy, and Brian from Victory Ranch. Hello, you guys, and thank you for taking some time to join us today. Thank you for having us. Yeah, it's great. Welcome. 
Well, I have to start out by telling our listeners I had the chance to visit your beautiful ranch and to meet all the creatures that you have there, which are just so adorable. But I have to say it was the Great Pyrenees that stole my heart when I was at Victory Ranch. But tell our listeners, what is Victory Ranch? Where is it located and and what do you guys do? We're located in Mora, New Mexico, which is about 44 miles directly south of Taos. We're in the beautiful Mora Valley. We're surrounded by these beautiful mountains. And we started off years ago. We're celebrating our 20th anniversary this year. And um, my husband, uh, Ken, and I came out here 20 years ago to buy the property and to have a ranch and to be cowboys. We're from Chicago. And... um, we uh, we started we started a cattle ranch and we did cattle for a year and that didn't quite work for city folk from Chicago. We didn't really know what we were doing and we my husband started reading and he said alpacas are the new kid on the block and uh, it looks like any dummy can raise them and here we are. So we went into the alpaca business. We have about 300 alpacas on the ranch. And during the last 20 years, we went around to county fairs and state fairs and all kinds of competitions and won lots of blue ribbons and red ribbons um, and and, um, really have a beautiful, beautiful herd of alpacas. So um, that's what we're all about. We invite visitors to come here. Uh, we're open every single day from 10 to 4, and um, we close from January 1st until March 14th, and you can visit by appointment, but we welcome all visitors to come, just like you did, Marcy, to come and see our beautiful ranch and, and experience um, our piece of heaven right here. Well, it is a piece of heaven. And tell me, Carol, how did you get started with alpacas? Where did you get your first ones from, and and how did you guys make that happen when you when you transitioned from cattle to alpacas? I wish I had a really intelligent answer for you. <laughs> we did some reading. Uh, we had never seen an alpaca. We did visit um, a small alpaca ranch here in New Mexico, and then we ended up buying our alpacas from an importer in Michigan, and we had no idea what we were doing, just none, and um, we don't know if we bought good alpacas or bad alpacas or what we did, and we made every mistake in the book as we went along, and we just learned by the seat of our pants. It was just a chance. And we were both business people, and we both loved animals, and we made it work. Well, and so, Darcy, how did the Great Pyrenees come to be at Victory Ranch? Did you guys get them when you got the alpacas, or how did you find out about them? The Great Pyrenees are sheep dogs, and they protect herds of sheep. And alpacas, while they're not sheep, they, um, they, they need protection, and... Um, I believe that they got the first Great Pyrenees snip with the first 10 alpacas. Is that right, Mom? Anyways. No. <laughs> no? Okay. But yeah, I, yeah, I've only been here 10 years of the, of the whole operation. <laughs> I've raised um, five puppies, five Great Pyrenees from puppies. But, yeah, when, how did you guys find out about the Great Pyrenees? How did you guys choose them, Mom? We had a very good friend who lives in Clayton, and she's the one, she's been my mentor uh, for years and uh, taught me, she's taught me everything. And she came out to the ranch when we first got the alpacas, and she was raising Great Pyrenees. And she said, these would be good dogs for you to have on the ranch. And so we took two, two dogs from her litter, and that's, where they, that's how we started with them. And they turned out to be such wonderful dogs. And then Darcy knows the rest of the story, but I, I didn't realize she didn't know the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> and Darcy, how many do you guys have now, Great Pyrenees? We have seven. We have seven. And they're incredible. They're incredible dogs. A lot of people think that they, um, that they are here to help us herd the alpacas. They, they don't do anything like that. But really what they do is they become part of the herd. They even look like part of the herd, and they strategically place themselves um, out in the pasture with them, and they, and they sleep out there while the animals graze, and they move with the herd. And when, 
it's interesting when it's time to come in. Um, if, if, if some of the dogs get hungry or whatever, they'll bark on their way in, and the guys that are in, the dogs that are in the barn, um, they'll, they'll come on out, and it's like they change shifts. <laughs> and um, <laughs> what they do is the, the, they'll leave at two dogs behind. If there's a predator or something, something dangerous happening, the dogs will go, most of the dogs will go and chase after it, and they'll leave two dogs behind, so the dogs continue to watch the herd. And how they know this, I, I said that I, I trained five of them, um, but I didn't really do anything. This is really instinct. They just, all I did was when they were puppies, I walked them around the perimeter of our property in the morning and at night. Um, they, I'm told not to, um, not to um, love on them so much when they're puppies, but how can you do that? They're so adorable. So they just don't come into our house. They know that they... They're, you know, out in the barn with the animals, and it's instinct. It's really innate that they just get to love. They really do love their job. Yeah, it They're seemed like it. In the morning. Yeah. yeah, I know. When I was visiting you guys a few weeks ago, and I was out doing your tour, where I was actually getting to see the alpacas, and I was so excited to feed them, and I was enjoying that so much, and all of a sudden, I felt something really heavy up against my wheelchair, and I looked to the left, and it was the most gorgeous Great Pyrenees, and he was just making himself comfy on the side of my wheelchair, just so incredibly graceful and beautiful and let me love on him and you could tell that he was just so happy to be watching after the alpacas and just to be there it was so magnificent to just be in his presence yeah and i think that's another incredible thing about them is that while they can be really ferocious with chasing off a predator they are the sweetest most gentle animals with us and um, sometimes we call them live rugs. You <laughs> have to step <laughs> over them. Or, yeah, I mean, they, they do look like they're so lazy. Um, but when there's something happening, they are on it and they're fast and they're, um, they are really serious about protecting all of us here. Yeah, I was amazed when I saw them, like you said, lying out, um, watching the herd. It was so cool. It was like they just blended in with their fur, even though they're so white. It was interesting how they just laid there in the with the other alpacas, just watching them. It was just so beautiful to see that and really breathtaking at their presence there at your beautiful ranch because it's so vast. How many acres do you guys have, Carol? We have 1,100 acres here. Yeah, it is really gorgeous. And so tell me, Carol, what other things do you guys have going on at the ranch? Because you do classes and all kinds of things, right? Yes, we have uh, spinning, weaving, and knitting classes, which we run from late spring until early fall. And they're very intimate classes. We only take about six to eight people in a class, and we have an adobe uh, house here that's quite modest, but uh, we have room for everybody to stay. So it's a wonderful thing because people can come from all over who have never had a ranch experience, and they come and they live on a working ranch for uh, three days. And we work we work at the classes, but then other times they get a chance to really experience the 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 dogs and the alpacas and the and the scenery and and um, the beauty of everything. Yeah, that's such a great opportunity for people that really, you think about all kinds of vacations that you can take, but to get to come to your ranch and and get that experience. I know a friend of mine told me she visits your ranch. She tries to go up once a year, and she was the one that recommended that I go, and it was just such a little well-kept secret, it seemed like, in northern New Mexico. It was just so beautiful nestled there in the mountains and, and to see all of the alpacas and the llamas. It was quite a treat, even though I don't know how to weave. And I wish I had that skill, but I don't. But if you don't want to take one of the classes, can you come and just visit for a couple of days as well? We don't open the house to anybody other than our classes. That's all. 
So we no, we don't have any kind of a bed and breakfast facility. But people are welcome to come and spend the whole day. We have we have picnic facilities, and so people come and, and with their families, and they come and stay for many many hours, and they just enjoy being around. And then we have this beautiful three thousand square foot store. We're hoping will not be a secret. <laughs> yeah. So we uh, yeah let that secret out of the bag. Yeah. <laughs> well, and people can also, they don't have to be in New Mexico. You have a great website, too. So tell our listeners, Darcy, about your website and what all is available through that. Because that's how I first got to find out information about you was through that website. Yeah, well, we're um, victoryranch.com. And we have a lot of our yarn on the website. We also have patterns. And we, we mainly... While we have a lot of other items in the shop, we um, are the largest alpaca yarn retailer. So we do have a lot of yarn and, and a lot of things geared towards knitting and crocheting and weaving and felting and spinning. And, um, and you can find all of that on our website. And we're also on Facebook. So come join us on Facebook, too. There's always some fun pictures. In fact, getting ready for this show, I was looking at our pictures and Smith and & Wesson who are two of our, they, um, we got them as puppies, Great Pyrenees here. They're two of our employees. <laughs> and I was looking at um, puppy pictures anyways, and I just put a couple of their pictures up as puppies on the Facebook page. So, so there's fun things on there too. Oh, that sounds great. Well, we are going to take just a quick break and hear some important messages from our sponsors. But we'll be back in just a few seconds and continue talking with Carol, Darcy, and Brian. And we're actually going to let Brian get a word in when we come back Uh-oh. from our from our break. So I've never heard him so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so, so please come right back after these messages. We'll be right back, right after these messages. Stay tuned. At Petco, we really love pets. There isn't anything we won't do to make sure they're getting the best products and the best care. So when you ask us a question like, So how do you feel about cat condos? We can say from experience, Feels like home. For her. Enter the code WORK10, W-O-R-K, the number 10, and get 10% off any order. No minimum at Petco.com. FTD's network of over 40,000 florists around the world have been creating beautiful handcrafted arrangements for 100 years. Each arrangement is delivered the same day and backed by FTD's seven-day satisfaction guarantee. For a century, people have trusted their most important occasions to the flower experts at FTD. Since Pet Life Radio is all about puppy dogs and flowers, our listeners, that's you, can get a 20% discount on your order. Just go to florop.com and use the code WORK1234 at checkout. F-L-E-U-R-O-P dot com, code word W-O-R-K-1234. Question, what do I want? What do I need? I'll take a back shot. I really should mention I need time, I need love, I crave attention. Love My Pets, the new single by Mark Winter, available on iTunes. That's it. You're madder than a junkyard dog, and you're not going to take it anymore. Your feathers are ruffled, your dander is up, and you've got a definite bone to pick. 
Join us each week on Pet Peeves, the show that lets you dig through the dirt and unleash your passion for pets. Your host, pet expert and award-winning author, Amy Shojai, will talk about what makes you howl and what hisses you off. Pet Peeves, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome back to Working Like Dogs on Pet Life Radio. And we're visiting today with the folks from Victory Ranch. And as I promised before our break, we're going to let Brian get a word in. And I, and I do have a question for you, Brian, because you are responsible for leading the tours at Victory Ranch. Is that correct? That's right, Marcy. I'm the best tour guide we have. Of course, I'm <laughs> the only tour guide we have. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me about that. What does a tour entail? Well, if you come out and visit the ranch, we do. Um, we have hand feeding of the alpacas at three times a day at 11, 1, and 3, and I first make you guys, everybody, learn a little something about alpacas. We do an educational part of the tour, and then we go and have some fun feeding all the little guys, and uh, our tour group, we call it our kindergarten class, and they're all, um, generally, they're the yearlings, the alpacas that were born the previous summer, and we put them into kindergarten to train them, get them really, uh, they become very friendly with people because we bring them treats three times a day. <laughs> and I think, yeah, everybody really enjoys the tour. We tell some good stories, and uh, everybody learns a little something about the alpacas. Yeah, well, it was so wonderful. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and it was just so amazing to be so up close with them and have them eating out of your hand. And it's really, really a wonderful experience that everybody should get a chance to experience because it it is so amazing to see these animals and to touch their fur. And it's just, it's you guys just have a wonderful little place. It's awesome, but it's not yeah. a little place. It's yeah, a big we're lucky place. To you yeah, are. Big place. <laughs> it, it is a big place. Well, and I know that you guys were featured in a beautiful book called Sheer Spirit. So, Darcy, can you tell us about that and about that, the book and how that happened? Yeah, well, it's a, it's a great book. It's a, two women go to 10 different fiber farms across the U.S. I'm not sure if 10 is the number, but several different fiber farms across the U.S. And um, where the alpaca farm mentioned, they use um, all they they get all different types of farms to do with sheep, yak, goats, and there's a whole chapter about each farm. At the end of every chapter, there's at least two projects using the yarn from those farms. There's beautiful photographs in there as well, and they chose us to be involved in the book, which is such an honor. It's um, as it's you know a big book published by Random House, so um, we're really really excited and honored to be a part of that. Yeah, it is an honor. It's a gorgeous book, and I know that you guys sell the book at your store. Can people order that online through your website as well? Because it's such a gorgeous book. Oh yeah, yeah, you can find that online as well. Well, one of my favorite pictures in the book is the morning procession where the alpacas are heading out into the pasture. <laughs> they're so adorable how they line up. So, Brian, do they do that every day? They line up like that? Every morning, uh, Marcy, we, when we head out to the barn, we, we set them free. And they go out. We're, we're fortunate to have a beautiful pasture out there that they graze on all day long. But in the morning, like you can see in the book, they all head down to the far end of the pasture. And the Great Pyrenees head out with them. And then throughout the day, the herd kind of just migrates in towards heading back towards the barn because... The alpacas know we feed them at night, and at that, and the dogs just stick right with them. Come around, they're kind of our uh, our sundial out there. You can tell the time of day by where the alpacas and the dogs are out in the field. <laughs> well, another <laughs> cool thing that I've discovered when I was at your ranch and the store was the children's book Zeus's Adventure. And Carol, can you tell us about that? Tell our listeners what is Zeus's Adventure. Well, we have a woman who has about 
who uh, bought them at our ranch, and she lives in Florida. And her she keeps her alpacas here in New Mexico. And her granddaughter is very interested in the alpacas, and she um, decided to write a book. And she had never met Sue. Sue was one of our dogs and um, one of our Pyrenees. And she wrote a story. And because she had never been out here, she wrote the story revolving around um, Katrina. Very sweet story. And it's, it's very, very nice. And it's been a very nice seller for us at the store. And this young girl is only 11 years old. So it's really special. She did all of the um, drawings in the book and she did all of the uh, copy work. So she did all writing. So it's just, it was very special for us to have. Yeah, it's an adorable book, and I love the photo. And, Darcy, you took the photos because that's Zeus on the cover, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's a puppy picture, actually. Oh, it's so adorable. I know that, like you said, it, it's hard to imagine the Great Pyrenees being ferocious because they look like these huge white teddy bears that are just so fluffy, and they have the sweetest oh, faces. Yes, they're ridiculously <laughs> cute as puppies. I mean, they're bouncing around, and they love the snow. This morning with the new snow on the ground, it's so fun. They, they all, all seven of them, it's like a sea of white come bouncing towards you. They're really fun dogs, but they do take their work very seriously when, something, when they think something's happening. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I can't imagine because with the coyote issues that we have in New Mexico, I'm sure that that is such a comfort to know that they're on the job 24 hours a day. Oh, yeah, because if it wasn't for them, then it would be me out there trying to protect <laughs> my friend's family. So I really appreciate them. And, and we joke around here about because um, um, they, they always get, it's always one of the dogs, Phoenix usually, <laughs> always gets employee of the month. And so... Um, the other employees around here always joke, mainly Brian, that he's never made it. Up I don't know about. I don't know how much of a joke picture. that is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're cute, Brian, but I don't know if you can compete with those white fluffy. Oh, hey, Marcy, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, that's far. I thought people came out to. <laughs> I thought people came out to see me. I think they come out to see the dogs more often than the tour guys. Come to see the tour. <laughs> well, it's really true that people come out. A lot of people come out here and have no interest in the alpacas. They really come out just to see the dogs. And the kids will come out and they, they will know the names of the dogs. And the dogs sometimes during the day will come up and, and take a nap on the porch. And the kids will come and they'll jump all over the dogs. And the dogs are just as gentle as they can be. And it's amazing that they can be ferocious when they need to be. But then when the kids are around, they're, they're playful and gentle. And we have a lot of people who really come every year just to see the dogs. Well, I get that, Carol, because uh, they stole my heart. I mean, I I love the alpacas, and they're adorable, but the, the Great Pyrenees, I mean, they're so amazing and beautiful as adults. I can't imagine how adorable they must be as puppies. So tell us, so you guys, Darcy, you've had puppies, I'm sure, being born there at Victory Ranch, and tell us about that. Well, actually, we, we haven't. We haven't had a litter of Great Pyrenees pups. We only have male Great Pyrenees. But we do, we would get, um, we would get them as puppies from other places that where they were actually born with livestock, with either sheep or, or alpacas or goats. And, um, and then, you know, when they're ready to be weaned, we bring them here and we usually get two puppies at a time and what a blast. <laughs> Wow, I can't imagine how cute they must be and how cute the alpaca babies must be. Oh, my gosh. And so the Great Pyrenees, I know that they have some certain things that they do when the alpaca babies are being born. Is that correct? Yeah, we, use, we often, it is such a big pasture. And while we do know due dates of the alpacas, we, we know who's ready to give birth, when, you know, about when they're ready to give birth, um, Sometimes we, we won't actually see that process and um, we'll be, you know, looking out in the field and there'll be two dogs um, in the, you know, with, with one alpaca and sure enough, always, every time they're there protecting the brand new trio, which is what we call a baby alpaca. 
and um, that's just instinct. They they sit there and, and protect it until it's up on all all four legs and moving with the herd. That is so amazing and so cool. You know, it just blows me away how working dogs are just so loyal and and all the instincts, like you said, that they have, that it's really not training. It's all instinctual, that they know what to do and they know what their responsibilities are and they take it so seriously. Carol, I'd love for you to tell us a little bit more about your store and about some of the special things that you have coming up this month. Well, we have been here 20 years. We've never had a sale before. So we're having a 20th anniversary sale. So everything in the store, everything will be 20% off at least. Some things will be more. And um, we're running the store, we're running the sale from November 20th until December 31st. So it gives people plenty of time to do their holiday shopping as well as shopping for themselves. And we're hoping people will come out and take advantage of it because every single thing, I mean, we have some beautiful, beautiful items in the store. We have alpaca sweaters. We have beautiful capes, capes that are true with fur. We have men's vests. We have jackets. We have hand knitted scarves. We have hats and gloves. And, and uh, I'm trying to think what else. And we, and we also have some beautiful artwork. Marcy, since you were here, we have um, some local um, artists in the area, and we invited them to come in, and they put paintings up all over the store, and they're absolutely beautiful. They just add such a beautiful touch. And um, so we have a lot of work from local artists in the store also. So we're hoping that everybody will come out and visit us and and, uh, do their shopping. Oh, that's great. Well, I know I did a lot of shopping when I was there, and my husband, actually, I got started on his Christmas shopping by getting him a couple of sweaters that were just gorgeous alpaca sweaters, and I just love how you guys track the wool from the alpacas. Tell us how you track them, because that was just the coolest thing. When we hear them, we, um, every animal that we hear, we... Um, when we hear them, we have every animal has a name. So there's 300 alpacas here, and they all have a, we all we all know them by name. And um, and so when we hear them, we put their bag of fiber in a bag with their name on it. And when we spin the yarn, we have a picture and the name of the alpaca that it came from. And that serves as our dye lot, so you can um, you can match the color exactly every. Every year, or, or if you're missing, you know, you bought enough, you didn't buy enough for the sweater you wanted to make. Well, you can match it exactly if you know that, uh, you know, this this came from Goldilocks. We can, ma- you know, get her, more of her yarn for you. Yeah, that is so cool how you can track it that way. And I didn't realize the, you know, the opportunity for people that want to take your classes. I mean, to, to get the fiber that you have was just, it was breathtaking. All of the different things that you had just when we were there that were on display. I mean, to touch it was just so phenomenal. But, you know, to really know what to do with it, I can't imagine how people must appreciate that. And I see why you guys are one of the leading and maybe be the leading um, fiber producer in the country for alpaca fiber. That's so cool. Well, tell us, I know because our time is running out, and I want to make sure that our listeners know how to find you guys. So please give us your website, your telephone numbers. How can people find you and reach you? We're at the website for victoryranch.com. We are, our phone number is 575 387 Two two five four five seven five three eight seven two two five four. Our website is victoryranch dot com. We're open every day from ten to four. We've got great things happening here. It's a beautiful drive from uh, Santa Fe, Albuquerque, wherever you're coming from. Show your guests the land of enchantment on the way out here. Did I miss anything? Off Highway four thirty four, we're at just a mile north of Mora, which is off f- Highway five eighteen in the beautiful Mora Valley. And it is beautiful. You can't miss all the alpacas when you turn up on the 434. <laughs> and we're a nice ride from we're we're a very nice ride from Albuquerque, from Santa Fe, from Taos, from Angel Fire, from Las Vegas, New Mexico. So it fits into a lot of different tourist places where when tourists are looking for things to do, 
we're it. I agree. I mean, it's a wonderful, wonderful experience. And like you said, just driving the enchanted circle and all of the beautiful landscaping of New Mexico that your visitors get to see. And then when they get there and get to see your ranch and the alpacas and the great Pyrenees and the llamas, it's worth the drive and and just such a great experience for adults and for children. So I really hope our listeners get the opportunity to come visit you and We'll have more information up on our website with the phone numbers and the website address to Victory Ranch so that if you, our listeners, want more information, you'll be able to get that. So thank you, Carol, Brian, and Darcy for taking time to be with us. I hope you'll come back and tell us what's happening out at Victory Ranch. Well, we're thrilled you could be with us and we're thrilled that you, our listeners, could be with us. And if you'd like more information, again, you can visit us at Working Like Dogs, which is on Pet Life Radio. And if you have any questions, comments, I love to get your emails. And please keep those coming. And you can send those to Marcy, M-A-R-C-I-E, at PetLifeRadio.com. So thanks so much to our guests and to our listeners. And we look forward to being with you again soon. Thanks so much. Let's Talk Pets. Every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.